Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for an exciting announcement on my channel. So you guys, I am here to announce that I will be co-hosting Drills and Chills with Katie from Diamonds and Washi this year. And you guys, if you know anything about me, I absolutely adore everything Halloween and fall. And so I am so excited to be taking part in this event this year. Now, normally on my channel, I do host the Festival of Witches. And I announced earlier this year that I would be opening up my event to more of a fall Halloween themed, and I'd be calling it Boo Drills. And you know, there is some, some kind of repetitive of having Boo Drills and Drills and Chills. And so when Katie asked me if I wanted to co-host, I was like, yes, I will be there. I will help you co-host Drills and Chills. This will be perfect. Now I am going to incorporate some aspects of the Festival of Witches into my channel. It's just not going to be its own separate event. So you guys, let's get into some of the details about Drills and Chills. So. Of course, this is the fifth annual Drills and Chills. And I, like I said again, I'm so happy to be co-hosting this. I've taken part in the event for I think the last three years that I have been diamond painting and I've just absolutely had so much fun. So this is basically just an event that's catered around Halloween and the autumn season. And so this is for primarily diamond painters. However, if you would like to enter with a paint by number or a cross stitch or an adult coloring page, you are completely welcome to complete a Halloween or autumn themed project between September 1st and October 31st. So this event is a two month event and it runs from again, October or September 1st through October 31st. Now, um, we will be having weekly giveaways on our channels, both Katie's channel, Diamonds and Washi, and my channel, Emeralds and Fairy Lights. We'll be having weekly videos that will have a name, the name Drills and Chills. These will be super fun videos. We'll have tags in them. We'll just have themed, you know, fun, fun content in these videos and we'll definitely mark them as that weekly drills and chills video. So make sure to go ahead and check out the videos on both her channel as well as mine because we have a ton of fun prizes. So how you can enter those weekly prizes is that at the start of the video, Katie and I will both give you instructions on how to enter. And it will usually be that you leave a comment on the video and we give you exact instructions on how or what to leave in the comment section. And then we randomly pick those comments, but just make sure that you tune in, that you pay attention at the beginning of the video because we will give instructions on how to enter those weekly giveaways. And then each week will culminate into a grand prize at the very end of the event. And so we will be doing that and we'll be drawing the winners after the event has closed. How do you join in this event? You're going to need to post a start photo of your, whatever your project is unstarted. So this does need to be a brand new start for the event. So and you're going to need to post it to Instagram with the hashtag or if Facebook is more your jam, we do have a dedicated Drills and Chills 2023 Facebook group and we will have a designated post for you to post your start photos in. So and also remember that these um, start photos, they need to be you know, so you, you can't start before September 1st. So make sure, um, please don't post start photos before September 1st, um, because they will not be seen as, as a start photo. They'll, they'll look as if they, if you started before the event. So just, just make that clear that you need to post on September 1st, not before. And the hashtag that we're using is drills and chills 2023. So to enter for the grand prize, you're going to need to finish that project by October 31st and submit a photo into our Google exit form that we will have available. And so that will be how you enter for the grand prize. 
and you guys um, that you can enter as many pictures as you want or you can do as many pictures as you want during the event however there's only one entry for grand prize per person just putting that out there and um, another thing to note is that we will have a Google form for you to fill out so that you can enter the weekly prizes so we can have your information. That way, when you watch our weekly videos, we can go ahead after we've picked the winner, we can just send your prize right out to you. We don't have to like wait to contact you or anything. Um, you can just provide that information for us and then we can make sure to verify that. So if you're gonna enter our weekly drawings on our Drills and Chills videos, make sure you do fill out that weekly video giveaway event form. So there's those two forms that you do that you will need to fill out there is no start there is no start form okay so so yeah just i just want to make that clear there's no start form you just need to post a start photo and we do have instagram and we do we'll have the facebook group and then so what kind of paintings qualify basically anything that is autumn or fall that is halloween that has pumpkins or fall leaves or witches or you know it's just it's very very um halloween and fall based and so please keep it to the fall theme <laughs> this is the sort of thing that i i usually say that if you were to take your painting and show it to somebody else would they be able to identify it as a fall or Halloween themed painting? Or would they question it? You know, would they not know what sort of theme it fell under? That's one of the best tests that I think. If you were to ask <laughs> just somebody, what do you think is the theme of this painting? Or what holiday do you think this fits? Or what time of year do you think this fits? And they can tell you right away it's Halloween or fall, then your painting most likely counts for the event or, or basically counts for the um, event. Now, one thing we do please, please, please ask you is that you look, you, you consider this theme and really think on it and then find a painting that works for it. Please do not try to make a painting that doesn't fit the theme. Try to fit the theme because that just that, that doesn't work very well. And also, um, please help our moderators who spend so much of their free time to help out and make the group fun. But answering questions about whether diamond paintings fit the theme or not takes up a huge amount of time and resources that we would rather not devote to that and that we would like to keep the group going. So if you do not think that your diamond painting fits the theme or you question it, then it probably does not fit the theme. Just being honest here, <laughs> just use very, very common sense. If your painting has a witch in it or a pumpkin in it, or it has, it's a fall landscape, you do not need to ask us if your image will qualify for this event because it, it does because it's the theme. So that's just a quick note to add. Um, last year we did, we had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions of diamond paintings. And this year we're wanting to really try to limit that and not have that take up a huge focus of the group. So we are really strongly encouraging licensed artwork. However, that is not required for weekly giveaways and for participating. However, if you do want to enter the grand prize, you are going to need to have a licensed diamond painting or a licensed cross stitch. Um, you, you will need to have your painting or project licensed. And we do have a list of licensed diamond painting shops that we'll link down in the video, that I'll link in the video. Um, we also have that in our Diamonds and Emeralds Facebook group that we host together, as well as we'll put it in this Drills and Chills Facebook group that we've created for this year. So that is one thing. Um, again, I will just show you the, go over what Katie has written exactly for what qualifies as Halloween or autumn themed. Halloween or autumn icons, pumpkins, skeletons, monsters, autumn animals, fall leaves, autumn landscapes, magic, witchcraft, yes, Harry Potter counts too, spooky or ominous scenes, 
icons from holidays honoring the dead like sugar skulls or um, Dia de los Muertos, I guess that, that sort of iconography you can do as well. So that is this whole event um, encompassing. So if your painting fits that theme, it is good. Um, you can absolutely use your project to participate in multiple events. And then again, it's, as I did say, to enter for the giveaway and for the weekly prizes, you will need to fill out that Google form and then we will announce the winners in our videos and we'll announce the grand prize winner at the end. And so just a side note, to add a little bit of the Festival of Witches into this event, I will be having a third form, which I know you guys are just oh, like so many forms, but I will have a separate third form. If you finish a painting of a witch, you can send me that picture and I will put that in a slideshow at the end of the video and do a parade of witches on October 31st, as I've done the past few years on my channel. I know that it has been a favorite of a lot of people so I am going to try and do that again well I'm, I'm going to do that again this year so I will have that form for you to fill out if you do choose to do a diamond painting that has a witch in it and then another thing to do is that there will be the themed drills and chills video that we will do weekly but as I've done in past events I've done a kind of themed video daily as much as I can on my channel and I hope to do that as well. Uh, um, if you have stuck around for past years, I've had Magic Mondays, I've had Toil and Trouble Tuesdays, Witchy Wednesdays, Thrilling Thursdays, Freaky Fridays, Oogie Spooky Saturdays, and so look forward to videos following those themes on my channel as well. But I hope you guys, this was helpful and instructional. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below and I will be happy to answer them. Again, um, we're just so happy to have you guys. Now, if you are a if you are a small shop owner or a shop owner and you would like to be a sponsor, feel free to shoot an email to myself at myemeraldlife at gmail.com or to Katie's um, email, which I'll include down below. And we would be happy to work with you and see what, you know, <laughs> if you would like to sponsor. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in another video soon. Bye. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words